Bird here from the Flora Project. Um, I am here with you sewing our April flower kit, which is all about uh, cosmos. I love cosmos uh, flowers. I'll show you why at the end of this video. Um, but this month we've got five all cosmos. And the reason we're doing so many cosmos this month is because, A, they're one of my favorite flowers. B, there are so many varieties. And when I was trying to pick which ones to include, I just couldn't <laughs> leave any out. So I have left a lot out, but I've picked my five favorites for you here. So we've got sea stars, which are, um, they're just beautiful. They're so unusual. They've got little shell-like petals on them. We've got Daydream. The colour in those is really romantic. Dazzler for a bit of brightness. Uh, Tetra Versailles and Sensation Mixed as well to really mix up the colours. So the reason, and C, the reason we've got lots of Cosmos this month is because they are so easy to grow. They will give you the most flowers per square metre in your garden. And at the Floral Project, we're all about growing flowers to give. So the more flowers we grow, the more flowers we can give. And you don't get more bang for your buck than Cosmos. So that's why we're going Cosmos crazy this month. So I wanted to show you a really, really simple way to sew these. So you can do them in modules. You can do them in seed trays. Um, but if you're anything like me, your kitchen window cells are getting a little bit busy. So um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do it really simply. I'm just going to use a little pot like this. And this is my peat-free compost here that I have. Um, always use peat-free if you can. And I'm just going to fill up my pot. Okay, nothing fancy, just simple peat-free compost bought at my local garden centre. And pick out any really big chunks. Right, very simple. I use quite a shallow one because you can get deeper ones, but I don't want to waste the compost, right? So really, I'm just going to grow my seeds in here so that they can start here. So all I want them to do is start off in here and as soon as they get um, their first set of uh, seed leaves, I actually prick out Cosmos when they're quite tiny. I'm gonna just sow six in here and, cause you don't need loads, believe me, these things turn into Cosmos monsters. Um, but I'm gonna sow six in here and once they all germinate and they've got their first set of seed leaves. I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to prick them out while they're quite small and then I'll put them into their own pots once they've germinated. So this is really just to get them started. See, I can put that really easily on my kitchen windowsill. Um, so let me just get the seeds out and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So this is what the seeds look like, just so you know. Quite big, chunky things. So all I'm going to do, if I've got enough hands to show you, is I'm going to take each seed and I'm just going to, so simple, I'm just going to pop them in there. So I've got one, two, oh, three, four, five, in fact I'm going to do eight, just for luck just because I can, because we've got plenty of seeds, right? Five, six, seven, eight. So I've literally, I've just spread them around the side of the pot. You can do one in the, one, two in the middle for luck. So I've got 10, there you go. I do not need 10 Cosmos plants, but this allows for some not germinating potentially. You can't even see them now. Um, this allows potentially for some not germinating. It allows for um, various misdemeanors that might happen. So my cat sits on it or um, I overwater it and one of the plants falls over. I put it, I, I grow them on and the slugs get them. There's a million ways that my plants can die. Um, and there's also, I know I have very helpful neighbors and very helpful mother-in-law who will take any spare seedlings off my hands. And in fact, I always grow extra Cosmos seedlings just for those guys anyway. So um, my giving starts before they even start flowering. So there you go, really simple. So all I'm gonna do with that is I will water it. I'll pop it on a plate or a tray and just leave that on my windowsill there until it starts to germinate. As soon as it starts to germinate, I will whip it out and put it into my greenhouse or pot, like I've got this plastic polytunnel, but like a little plastic greenhouse. Um, or you can put them in white plastic crates some of our floor project growers grow in as soon as they start to germinate because 
otherwise these will get very leggy very quickly and that just means they get really tall and thin they lean towards the light they go very pale they're just it's not a healthy start for them so as soon as you see them germinating out they go into the greenhouse and it's one of the reasons i sometimes do like to sow in little pots like this because these ones might germinate before the next set or the next set and that way i can always take them out when these ones have germinated leave the other ones in the kitchen until they do um, if you sow them all in a module tray as soon as any of the varieties start germinating you've got to get them outside and it just slows the others down so um, this is for if you don't have oodles of space right so one of these i'm going to do one of these for each of the five varieties and then as I come to prick them out and sow them on and pot them on and plant them out into the garden, um, we'll all be growing together. Okay, so I hope you're going to enjoy these Cosmos uh, plants as much as I did last year. And I really hope that the people who you give them to are going to enjoy how beautiful they are. And I'll just uh, do a little slideshow of all my favourite Cosmos picks from last year. Um, some of which we're growing, most of which we're growing, I think. Um, and some new varieties like sea stars that I didn't grow last year. So um, I'll show you some pictures of what you can look forward to. All right, I look forward to seeing your pictures in our Facebook group and uh, seeing all your flowers when they come up. These are gonna be the best armfuls of flowers pictures that you've ever seen. Okay, see you soon, bye. Aha, one thing I forgot to say, don't forget, right? You really, really need to uh, label them because you will not be able to tell which ones are which and if you've got one of these and four of the other, you need to know which ones you're going to keep, which ones you're going to give away. So please, please, please don't forget to label because you won't know what they are until they start flowering otherwise. And then you'll really be scuppered. Um, so yes, label as you go. So here they all are, ready to go into the house, into the kitchen, all labelled up. My five different sets of seeds. I've actually just sowed, because I sowed 10 in each, I've sowed 50 plants. Um, I won't be growing all of those on into huge, great big cosmoses. Um, but let's see where this little journey takes us. I look forward to seeing them germinate. I did sow some a few days ago, so I'm going to show you um, what they look like when I prick them out. So you can see what that looks like as well. Okay, so it's the 12th of April today as I'm recording this video for you as I've just sowed my set of my April flower seeds, my Cosmos seeds. Um, but I wanted to show you, whoa, nearly lost it, um, this one here, which was sowed on the 26th. So this is about 16 days ago. So I actually sowed these into, mod, into a module tray. So each seed had its own separate little um, module. And then as they started to get uh, bigger, I wanted to pot them on so I've given them their own pots already I haven't waited for them to get really big in their module pots and then pot them on I like to do it when they're quite small because now this pot this plant can just grow on and grow on and grow on we can't put them outside until um, the last frost so for me that's the end of May so he's going to grow on here inside the greenhouse um, a little plastic greenhouse here with um, with all his other little friends and I'll show you when they get to the next thing you have to do with them which is basically you just need to keep them water just need to look after them I throw a frost cloth over um, the the tray they're just in a tray like this so I throw a frost, a frost cloth over if I know it's gonna be really cold like it's minus two at the moment at night uh, just over the top of the tray to try and keep them safe and um, so I just need to look after him, keep him watered. And then when he gets a bit taller up to here, we will uh, pinch them out, but we'll do that together. So just to let you know what to expect, 16 days after sowing, uh, as soon as I, he germinated, I brought him out into the greenhouse here. He's been growing on here. I've pricked him out and now he's just gonna grow on here, all nice and healthy and happy. Mm -hmm. 